Okay, you ready, sir? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. All right. Now we need to get, we need to get Chuck up higher. We can't see him. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. That's my brother. That's your brother. That's, That's my brother. <laughs> wow. Now let me turn it up a little higher for you, Mom. Okay, I've got it all the way up. How exciting. It's wonderful to see you both. We didn't hear you, sorry. I said we <laughs> They didn't know you existed. That's okay, I didn't know he existed either. <laughs> You know, I could say that I, I had a sister, but I've had a sister all my life. <laughs> they have. That's absolutely amazing. Isn't it right? Yeah. The magic of a life project. Yeah. This, is, this is the excellent job that my daughter did searching through ancestry and finding yes. us. Yeah. Because I never knew there was a brother. I remember my father, but I never knew there was a well, father. Well, why don't you tell Chuck what you remember about Bert, and then maybe he can tell you what he found out from Rose's family. Rose was Bert's Good third idea. wife. So why don't you tell Bert, or why don't you tell Chuck what you remember about Bert? What I remember is that he was happy-go-lucky. He was always clowning. Mm -hmm. I remember him dancing on the front lawn with some sort of a silly rag on his yeah, and I remember that he was a shoe salesman, and I remember my mother was annoyed because he didn't work, but this was the very depths of the depre depression. There weren't any jobs. Well, he didn't let the existence of jobs interfere with not <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an interesting philosophy, yes. See, I, I have that problem now, too. <laughs> well, he was always looking, according to my cousins, and I didn't know I had two first cousins either. Mm -hmm. uh, he was always looking to find someone. He had an idea that he could go to get there. He had
asking at the time, although now I'm rethinking this, she said any time he was in a new city, he looked at the phone book looking for me. But my question is, why wasn't he looking for his daughter? Why was he just looking for me? Yeah, so I'm going to solve. <laughs> I'm going to solve. Maybe he, maybe he knew that she'd already been adopted by then. Was that possible? That's certainly possible. Maybe he found yeah. out somehow. But, I, I think not likely. Yeah, think because that was quite a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it, Mom, Mom was adopted by Al in 1941. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I was born in March of 41. Okay. Okay. And then what What do you remember about your... You remember the cousins a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah? Tell Chuck what you remember about the cousins. Which one? Do you remember any of their names? Well, the main thing that I... Remember, the Chatlin cousins. The, the main, main thing that I remember is that there were cousins who were twins, and they reminded me of, of the Bobsey twins, because when they walked down the street, they bobbed up and down, but in, in, but op, yeah. in opposite, not the same. So there were twins in Bert's, Bert, Bert had nephews who were twins? Yeah, well, this was in my side of the, in my other side. No, of we're asking family. you, what do you remember about Bert's? You remember cousins from that side, right? No. Oh, I thought no. you said you did. No. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. You know, when Church Dickens told us about I'm going to be the first brother to make it to 60, because his three older brothers died in yeah. his city. Yeah. And he lived by a week. He died. He was 59 years, 11 months, and 16 weeks old, and he died. And I met a heart attack and didn't make it to the hospital. Yeah. And then mom was interested to hear that you have a son who's an attorney and a daughter yes. who's a writer. Uh, yeah, he's uh, well, our son who lives in Huntington. Yeah, we talked about that, and and I have other yeah. I have other well, family there. And then he went to law school and became a patent attorney. Uh -huh. And okay. he married, he met his wife in, in law school, and they got married just around graduation. And then after working in, in law in New York for a couple of years, they quit their jobs, hiked around Patagonia for a year. Oh, Patagonia? And then, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and yeah. she had just had yeah. a little baby. Almost. So she became grandparents. This has been such an amazing time learning all of this. And then, and then there's still something new constantly. Yes. I just have to stop. What? She said life never stops. True. I took a picture, so I had to have a picture of the family. Yeah. What I think is very interesting. Is this lady looks like my family? Does she? She does yeah. a little bit, huh? Yeah. 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 I, I see family there. But when, when I met uh, Sydney, I think Sydney, uh, for Jay, Jay Baker, Jay Chaplin, he moved up to Buffalo to change his name to get gambling debts. That's how Jay Chaplin became Jay Baker. Anyway, uh, I, I met his, his, his Do you need to record the entire? That time was 90s. 